Jenny. Hi, yeah. Hi, Jenny. So, um, tell us how long have you been with us? Here? Well, we'd, when Sue first started, I think she'd rescued the Cheryl and Taffeta. Mm -hmm. And there was an article in the paper. Mm -hmm. We'd just moved to Spain and we'd always had horses. Mm -hmm. So, I'd obviously got a bit of withdrawals. Yeah. So, yes, we came down and um, offered to help. And I've been there ever since. Lovely. And how long has that been then? It must be 12 years now. Wow, that's a long time, um, Jen. But oh. now I leave it to the younger ones and I, I run the charity shop in Posada. Lovely. So, oh. um, yeah. so you're busy it's, here then still? It, it is. It's a, it's a very popular shop. The amount of people have said, oh, we're so pleased you've opened again. Which, um, you know, I always think that's good. Oh. So, yes. Um, but I've seen so many, well, um, alterations and things evolving from like just two, two rescues to, is it 120? Mm, 120 now. Mm. And uh, uh, they just do an amazing job. And if it wasn't for all our volunteers, donations and shops, um, well, it, it, it would be just such a nightmare. Mm. Um, That's lovely. Thank you, Jane. Yeah. And any special memories? Any one last memory you wanna? Well, not last memory. I mean, any <laughs> memories that you um, something that? As I say, when Lucio came, who was very badly injured, um, and he'd been uh, obviously kept in a stable for I don't know, literally weeks and weeks, and we didn't because his balance is affected. We didn't know how he was going to be when he was turned out to the paddock, and it was just magical. We just, just just went round and round and round uh, well, it, to what he was like when he came in all broken and it was lovely. Oh, that's so, yes. lovely. Well, thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you for all the hard work you do. It's so much appreciated. It's wonderful. Well, it's wonderful. Um, wonderful work. You do a good job and lovely. If we can help, we do. Thank you.